rough week in the markets. I tweeted a few minutes ago, Bitcoin is set for its first six-week pullback since 2014. Right, that's eight years. So what does this mean? Well, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up the charts as always, but the bottom line is that you know, people were expecting uh, the, the Fed to signal that they were going to be doing perhaps more dramatic cuts. They've signaled that's not in the cards. It does appear that the economy is slowing. As I've told you many times on Money Talks, the bond markets lead the way. And the bond markets have done their job and are slowing the economy. The bond markets are doing the Fed's job for the Fed. And what I expect in return is the markets to slow significantly uh, in the coming weeks and months. And I think there's a really good chance this will lead us into a longer, uh, well, at least a couple of quarters of recession, recession being defined as two consecutive quarters of falling uh, GDP or, or basically typical growth measures in the economy. So as I said, six weeks now, we're looking at for pullbacks in the price of Bitcoin. Uh, this would be the fifth week in a row for the price of Ethereum, and there is no end in sight. So I believe that Bitcoin is massively oversold. I think we're looking at one of the best buy opportunities in growth stocks that we've seen in a long, long time. The likes of, of Netflix and some of the COVID stocks that um, have pulled back 50% plus now seem to be either fairly priced or even downright cheap in many cases. Um, we focus a little bit more on crypto here. We do get into stocks every once in a while as it relates to the broader markets. But as I said, uh, I believe Bitcoin uh, is approaching one of the biggest buy opportunities. And, and I'll, I'll bring up the charts here. One of the biggest buy opportunities that I certainly have seen in a very, very long time. 